Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are looking at the Sodaology Fizz Sparkling Water Maker Bundle. And you can use this like anywhere. This thing is so fun. And the cool part about this is the review that I'm going to give you of this, this is more than me just doing the whole, hey, I reviewed it, I'm never going to touch it again. This actually solved quite a few problems that I've had with other soda makers. Let's get started. First things first, let's unbox it. This was sent to me to do an honest review of it, and it's really cool. Now, the accessories does say it comes with one machine and two bottles. I will admit, I am sort of excited to see what this is like. Oh, that's nice. I like the shape of it. Now, I did do some reading on this beforehand, so I wouldn't come at this blind. And I do have, of course, this is the CO2 cartridge. That is all ready. And... Okay, first impression... I will admit, this looks really, really good. I mean... In all honesty, this, this looks so much better than the Soda Stream. I've had a Soda Stream, but this looks sleek. This looks really sleek. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that all the bottles are nice and washed and cleaned. Then we will, I will read the directions and we will get going with this. Uh, you will see me use this over several days and it'll be really cool. But yeah, now I have to wash it and everything. So let's get started. I can honestly say this is probably one of the best things that I've received because this has been a whole lot of fun. Then from there we have two of the one liter bottles. The one liter bottles are probably the perfect size to get just as, just enough carbonated drink in the cool part about this, you know, so I'm saying carbonated drink because we'll get into that, um, that you would want. So these are two, these are three pieces. You have a top, you have a bottom, and you have a middle cylinder. The cylinder is what actually holds the liquid. The top and the bottom have seals on it. And the coolest part about this is you can completely and totally clean this. Before, unless you had some way of, I have a brush which is just for bottles, but it just, it makes it even easier to clean these and do clean them thoroughly before you actually use them. They, ha they do have to be hand washed, which is absolutely fine with me because they're so easy to wash. It's just amazing. I thoroughly washed and cleaned them and then let them dry. Alright, so let's start at the beginning. Once you unpack this, the first thing that you're going to want to do is connect your CO2 canister. You can get those at your local store or you can order them. I had mine shipped to me. And then I just screw it in from the bottom. It just slides in, twists in, and it's that easy, like 100%. There is no monkeying around with things. Everything just connects quickly, easily, no problem. And I like the, bot, the fact that it is underneath it because it's not in some bizarre situation where it may or may not hold. It's great. It is secure, it is tight, it's wonderful. Then the next step is to just fill it with water. There is a line on each cylinder which shows you where to fill up your cylinder to. Okay, no problem. Make sure that the bottom is just tightened completely so that, that way you don't have to worry about it leaking out, but I don't think it would leak out because it is made in such a way that I think these are sealed perfectly. Then I just screwed on the top. I went over to the uh, soda maker itself there is a little plastic, well, it's more like rubber, uh, cover over top of the injector, which then injects the uh, CO2. I removed that, put the cylinder on top of the, on top of the base, screwed it in, and then just pressed the top. Now, here's the cool part about this. You can decide how fizzy or how non-fizzy you want this. 
And that's one of the nice things. If you're having one of those days where you really want a really fizzy drink, go for it. Three, two, three squeezes, that's fine. If you decide that you just want a barely fizzy drink, one's fine. You decide how much CO2 gets in there. Now let's talk about that. I've had a problem with other um, soda makers because personally I thought they taste it funny and I wasn't sure why until I was reading the material on this. And what it is, I guess, this is my guess, not saying this is 100%, but some of these soda makers, the CO2 does not dissolve completely in the water, or it does not dissolve enough. In this, I personally think it does. I thought this dissolved wonderfully, and so when I tasted it, I tasted fizzy water. It was bubbling water. It was sparkling, it was wonderful, but it tasted of water. It didn't taste what I think CO2 tastes like. It didn't have that bitter taste, so I have to say that I really appreciate it. Now the next part of this, which is also really cool, is now you can decide what you're going to do with this. Now you could be one of those people who just wants to have some sparkling water with some pieces of fruit. Now here's another cool thing. It has a wide opening on the top. The wide opening will let you put in actual pieces of fruit instead of those tiny little uh, soda, j soda j bottle openings where you can barely put anything. These are wide openings so you could put in whole slices, whole grapes, those sort of things, and then let that actually, you know, flavor your water. The thing to remember is you do want to carbonate your water before you add flavoring to it. That's one of the things which you're supposed to do anyway. But once it is carbonated, add whatever flavorings you want. If you want to just add sliced strawberries in there, dump some strawberries in there. It'll taste really good. Grapes, oranges, orange slices, lemon slices, lime slices, whatever you want. That's the cool part about having a wide bottle opening. Now the next thing is, okay, so you want to make your own flavorings. Okay, that's really easy to do. I actually have a couple recipes on this channel about how to make flavorings. And one of the ones that I did just for today was I did elderberry syrup. So I added the elderberry syrup in there and it is so good. It is so wonderful. Uh, and I could then add it to how much, you know, the, to the amount that I want it. All right, this is the elderberry syrup that I've made before. If you want that recipe, click that eye in the sky or click the card. You can make this uh, syrup, but let's give it a taste. So making your own flavor syrups for this would be so, so simple. If I wanted it to be pretty sweet, sweet, I could add more sweet, I could add more syrup to it. If I didn't want it to that sweet or that much flavor to it, I could then do less. That's really cool because I can cater the syrup, tailor the syrup to whatever I want. I can make it so that it tastes exactly how I want it. Now if you're one of these people who does not want to make your own syrup, which I don't blame you, yes, you can go to the store and buy your own flavored syrups. You don't have to, that's the best part about this. I have found that the sparkling water is really refreshing, it is really cool, I've been enjoying that. But I did try some regular store-bought uh, sparkling water syrup or soda syrup, put it in there, rotated it a couple times to make sure that the syrup incorporates with the carbonated water, and voila, I had flavored carbonated water. I could make it to whatever sweetness I wanted, it was just so cool. Now, it also covers, it takes care of a couple problems that I had before. One of my issues with these, always these soda makers, have always been the fact that they were ugly. They were really, really ugly. And they felt cheap. I can honestly say that, one, this is kind of stylish. I, I wouldn't go out overboard and say, well, this is a piece of art. But I would say, this is stylish enough that I have no problem leaving it on my counter. It looks pretty cool. If you had a bar, it would look really, really cool up there. It almost looks like a bar tap. That's really what it reminds me of. So sitting it on my counter, it is nice. I don't have to worry about it, which is how things changed with this versus all the other uh, soda makers. All the other soda makers, I would hide it away because they were ugly, they looked cheap. This one I have out on the counter so I can then just carbonate the water whenever I need to. 
and then that makes it easier because it's just an extra step. I can actually put chilled, I can actually put the bottles of water into the refrigerator and then pull them out when I'm ready to carbonate them instead of lugging this all, all out. And it was just so cool, so easy to do, and it's right there. I don't mind it being out. It feels sturdy. It feels really good. So then I carbonated my water and then it just, it tastes really good. I mean, you will notice the taste. That's what I think I've noticed the most. The fact that you notice it and the fact that it's not <laughs> ugly. It's not one of those things that look like, oh look, you have this plastic thing out on your counter. No, this looks like, oh, you have something which is sort of interesting, and it blended in with all the other appliances that I had sitting out on my counter. The bottles themselves, I think, actually look sort of cool. They remind me of uh, pepper grinders, but they look really neat. They do not take up much space whatsoever. If you, uh, I find that I can put mine on the door easiest, however, I can then just put it on the shelf you do need a little bit more space because they are a little tall, so if you have a limited amount of space, you might want to think about that. But it is really cool, and I mean really worth it, and I think this is one of those really cool things. Like I said from the beginning, this wasn't one of those reviews that I just tested it out and will never touch it again. No, in fact, even right now, I am drinking this because this is just clear, sparkling water. There is just carbonation in it. It is so good and so refreshing. And guess what? Today it's going to be 89 degrees. I need this. That is nice. You can have the, refresh the refreshing part of a sparkling water. The fact that you can do this, if you want to use like honey to sweeten your sparkling water, cool. Uh, one thing that we did try, which was really interesting, we made a tea syrup, and then we used the tea syrup to then make our uh, sparkling water. I guess you'd call it sparkling tea. That was really good. Now, if you want to learn how to make tea syrup like we did, let me know down in the comments. Here's the cool part about this. They're giving you a discount. They gave me a discount link list it down below. If you use that link, it has a reduced price on this project product. It is so good. I can honestly say this one I truly do believe in because it's one of those things where there are lots of stuff where you see people try it out and then they never use it again. They never touch it again. This is one of those things I think I'm going to be using quite often and I really do like it. And you're probably going to see some recipes for some flavored syrups that you can use, not just in your sparkling water, but in other things. But for right now, this is so refreshing. Well, if you like this, let me know. You get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Let me know if you have any other products that you'd like to see me review or try, and I hope I get to see you the next time you stop by.